Because that's what athletes do. Don't buy cheap toilet paper. Look how fresh that pesto is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not entirely sure where my Volvo is. <gasps> I've got all of the good ones. Good evening. This is um, a random time for me to be starting a vlog. I don't think I've ever started a vlog in the evening. But I thought, you know what? It doesn't always have to start on a morning, does it? I'm in London. I'm in my new room. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna show you around my room because I, it's actually an absolute shit tip. It's so messy, but um, I have tried to make it a little bit more like homely, which has helped, even though I slept like shit again last night. But still, <sighs> yeah, life's just been. You know, sometimes when just like everything's just happening at once, and I found it like too difficult to focus on all of the things. So I was meant to pick up my vlog camera on Tuesday, uh, yesterday when I drove down here, but then I was like, I just, I just can't, I just need to get down here. And I stopped off at B&M to get this cabinet that I'm gonna show you, and then Ikea to get this rug that I'll show you in a minute. So I like had, I drove from Somerset to London, but stopped off twice. And then I was like, I just need to get there before rush hour traffic. And then by the time I got here, I needed to do some work, order dinner, went to bed. So there was, actually wasn't really anything to see, to show you. I had one meeting this morning, um, an interview this morning. And then I went and met one of my best friends, Emily, who I have not seen forever. And I wished I'd have had the camera because she's just hilarious. So I'm glad I didn't have the camera on me today, but it is what it is. There's plenty of other times. Um, and then we just had a really lovely afternoon and it's been so long since I've just let myself do something that isn't like, I don't know, work related or... I don't know, it was just really nice to like go shopping and have lunch with my friend and my phone was actually quite quiet. Like I was checking my emails and available on my WhatsApp for anything that was needed, but actually it was quite quiet, which was really nice. You can see the state of, oh, do you know what I'll show you? I'll just show you. So, oh, this is the result of me rushing this morning, but this is my new rug. I just got a plain cream one. This is what I bought today, I'll show you that in a minute. Um, and then I've got, I need to order like a valance thing there. I should have made my bed this morning, but I didn't do that either. I bought some new pillows from Ikea and then this throw. And then I bought this bedside cabinet from B&M and I, this is like the door handle to go on, but I actually started screwing it in and cracked the wood. So I was like, oh God, I don't want to keep doing that or forcing it. So I need to get some glue and then I can just stick it on. But yeah, it's kind of got two shelves in there. So yeah, I'm trying to make it a little bit more homely. I didn't actually sleep again last night that well, but I think I'm just getting used to a new space. So in the morning, me and Molly are gonna go for a run. And then my management have a party in the evening, which I'm going to. So I went shopping today because I needed to get some um, underwear and something to wear. And then I also have replaced my Doc Martens because Vinny chewed them to shit. But Molly knows everything I like. You can just ask her anything. Okay, say good morning. Huh? Morning. What's the other plan for you today? Something in general? Going up to Northamptonshire. Yep. To do my job that I'm underpaid for. <laughs> can I keep that in? Yeah, probably. <laughs> um, and then got dinner out in Kennington later. Me and Molly going for a run. <laughs> a light jog, probably. <laughs> It'll be a fast walk. <laughs> Round 5k. <laughs> Molly, the personal trainer, was a savage the entire oh. way. And uh, first, first k is the hardest. We walked like three times. And then we got to, f and then she was like, right, when we get to 3.8K, what did you say? You said something like, when I said we like, we'll run to like 4 point something, but Sasha said. But I said, no, let's get to 4K, let's walk to 4K and then we'll run the last K. And that's what, we did run the whole last no K. Way, yeah. When I say run, <clears throat> Molly was essentially walking backwards and I was <laughs> mm, <laughs> jogging. <laughs> but we did it and no, I, I'm, I'm very, fast, yeah. I'm very proud. But I did have a PT, so we've just been to prep to go and reward ourselves with a coffee. Because that's what athletes do. So this is a new feature <laughs> on the vlogs for the London flat times. And the feature is you have to both give one piece of wisdom for the day. Don't buy cheap toilet paper. That is, oh, that is a really, really good, good one. Because we've oh. been scratching our ass with something Molly bought. 
Your ass deserves more than that. No, I'm not very wise. What about our brand portfolio and see if there's anything there that might trigger any Probably not. What about what you said to me about running is all in? Oh yeah, running is all in your head and you can do it. My wisdom of the day is mind over matter. That's yeah. essentially what she said. <laughs> <laughs> no, she just repackaged it a little bit. Don't buy cheap sneakers either by the sounds of it. Keep interrupting me. <laughs> My wisdom of the day is be grateful for blue skies. Oh, that is so beautiful. Look at this. I like that one. We've come out for lunch to this famous, it's not famous really, it's just famous to JJ, isn't it? <laughs> uh, Italian shop. In fact, from one of the Christmas vlogs, my present from JJ was loads of, <laughs> was loads of um, stuff from this shop, Italian deli. So we're going to get a sandwich, maybe some other things. <laughs> get my little bits. Uh, yeah, yep. Sasha, so anything you want to take with Can we get um, the mix? Like, like salami on hand. Oh, uh, okay, I'm in my actual element. Cut that straight down the middle, yes? Yes, please. Shania Panatoni. <laughs> oh my god. Look at that. <laughs> oh, look how fresh that pesto is. <laughs> What did we get in here? So mixed roasted vegetables, pecorino cheese, parma ham and fresh basil. Is that right? Pesto, yeah. And if you could, can you see how squeezy this bread is? Oh! I don't know why everything is such a rush in um, London, but anyway it is. I'm just about to go into meet my um, new agency. And yeah, I had loads of time to get ready, but once again I was rushing. So I'll show you when I'm in. I don't think I've even mentioned that I'm signing to a new agency. But it, it's because I don't do anything until it's actually done. It's, it's weird like going um, at like that slow. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> Been, like a flirty, like, you know, like... Yeah. That wasn't very clear. <laughs> <laughs> like the normal ones. No, not at the same time, but like in the same period of time. Oh, right. Like, the point of <laughs> Like, oh my god, am I missing? Like, yeah, like, that's a lot. <laughs> um, I don't even know what I've vlogged, but I am in a taxi home <coughs> with next to no voice. Um, what's the time? Let me see. 20 past 12. My management had a event um, this evening in Soho. So, yeah, I was there from... Well, I went to the agency first. Um, I went to, to my new modeling agency first and did some social filming for them which is exciting and then we got a taxi to Soho and um, went to the event basically which was really nice and now we're on our way well I'm on my way home um, I literally haven't eaten anything since that sandwich I am bloody starving I didn't get to show you my makeup my outfit nothing my outfit wasn't impressive but my makeup was nice I did like a smoky wing liner good morning everyone i i have been pretty shit at vlogging actually i didn't vlog anything at the party last night um got home took my makeup off went straight to bed and actually for the first time last night i slept all the way through i still woke up early but it's really taken me quite a while to like adjust to being in the flat and um like the area and like there's so much noise which obviously i'm not used to but yeah i slept really well last night and then i got up this morning at eight and i was like i am gonna get in the car before half past eight and then i should miss the traffic and it was actually okay i'm so excited to get home i'm gonna have a shower sort the washing out i'm gonna put a hair mask in yeah i don't really know what i'm gonna do this weekend but i just know that i want to chill um i want to go for another run tomorrow so yeah i'm feeling really good i'm feeling i'm just like driving back i'm feeling so i just feel so grateful one thing that i wanted to speak to you about was this podcast that i listened to by stephen bartlett diary of a ceo i'm sure you listened to him his podcast in my opinion it, are one of my favorites to listen to i think he is such an incredible podcaster uh, the way he interviews his guests is like it's almost like interrogation he asks them such blunt questions that i think so many people would be too scared to ask but he asks them so respectfully and he always just gets such incredible conversation and i find myself listening to episodes with people 
songs that perhaps I wouldn't even be interested to listen to in the first place. So I am a big fan of his podcast in general, but last night I finished, sorry, on the drive down, I finished off the last part of the episode with Mo Gauda. And honestly, like it's categorically the best podcast episode that I've ever listened to and there were so many things that I think everybody could take from it. Me and uh, Molly and Jason actually did have a really deep conversation about it and kind of delved deeper into some of the more problematic areas or like grey areas of the things that he was talking about but on a whole in general I think it is one of the best like it's it's just such an incredible episode and I think everybody um, could do with listening to it so I will leave the link in the description box below and I just I urge everybody to listen it's like two hours long it's very long but to be honest the best piece of advice he gives is at the very 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 end and it is so so true it is just fantastic and I absolutely loved it it's really given me some sort of I don't know uh, like perspective on on certain things and I, I think everybody would be able to take so many things from it and those things would be different for everybody but I still thoroughly recommend you watch it. Hello my baby. Hello. And mummy home. Mummy's home. Can we just take a moment to look at the absolute state of me? <coughs> Here he is. There's a lovely boy. Whoa. That's the master. I got home and all I've done since I've got home is like be on my phone sorting out logistics for different stuff and I've done a wash and that's it. I'm now going to get my nails done because they've chipped and something may be happening next week but it's just not confirmed yet and until it's confirmed I don't even want to like I feel like it's going to happen and the prospect of it excites me beyond but I also just don't even want to get excited because it could change <clears throat> quickly. So I still haven't had a shower and done my hair, but I have got marginally organized and done quite a bit of work. I'm just so happy to be back on my pigs. This is the one thing about London, it like disorientates me a bit because I'm, I'm now tired. It's like I've come into my own space and I instantly relax and now I could just fall asleep and have a nap or, oh my God, look at that. That is two perfect little boys, isn't it? I've had about a 30 second conversation with David, I think, so far. We've not even had a chance to, whoa, it's bright, to have a proper catch up because I was, I had to, I had to get something over to a brand really quick and um, he, he's gone to the gym. So I've not even seen him properly. So hopefully we'll have like some time tonight and um, I fancy having like a glass of wine or something later. But not too much because I do definitely want to go for a run tomorrow. Have my nails done? They are so nice. Like this, they look like little minstrels. We've just ordered some um, dinner. We ordered Nando's because I'm certainly not cooking. We have no food in the house. Haven't had time to go food shopping, and David can't cook. <laughs> I wanted to get Greek food, but we um, they don't deliver. I am just looking online for if said thing happens next week i have nothing appropriate to wear um so i'm just having a little look i just ordered loads of stuff from karen millen really really rate their clothes so much at the moment since i did that haul um like the clothing haul i just fully have like fallen in love with their stuff and they have a great plus size range as well but like good plus size clothes hello everyone how's your week been Frank Look at Frank, she's chewing that bit. They both got one. Good morning everybody. Happy Saturday. Saturday. I have just been for my second 5k run of the week. Woo! My, I, I said to Molly that my aim is to do two 5k runs a week. That's good, isn't it? That's good, it's been chewing three days. Yeah. David and his daughter are going to London for a friend's son's second birthday. I'm not going because I came back from London yesterday and I'm probably going to be in London, to driving back to London tomorrow as well. So it just would have been a bit much. Um, am I on your way? No. 
And but last minute, Billy has decided to come and stay for the weekend. So this morning I've been just tidy and doing the washing. Been for my run. I'm going to hang out the, sh the bed sheets now, and I'm going to cook some sort of Italian for dinner. Just giving you a cuddle. Have you missed me this week? Big time. We've literally we've had about a, a three minute conversation the entire week, haven't we? Face to face. Face to face. Yeah. We never have face to face conversations because I don't know you. <laughs> Nina, show us the ball that you just picked up. <gasps> did you find that on your walk? Did you? Whoa! Show everyone your ball. I had a shower. I've had such a productive morning. I just had a shower and put a face a hair mask in and did my skincare. Put a nice comfy tracksuit on and I am on my way to go pick up bills. This week has been quite quite a lot. I don't know if it's the chaos is gonna show through on this vlog, but it's been quite stressful. I just think it's gonna take me a while to adapt to the London back and forth after this pandemic like I'll, I'll come home and then i'll need to do it, put like the washing on and david is so domesticated he does do a hell of a lot around the house but i don't know like i just whizzed around with the hoover and sprayed the home spray and stuff and it just makes me feel nicer for like a saturday night um for later when i'm gonna light all the candles and it's gonna feel all like nice and cozy so i think it's just gonna take me a while to adapt to to that I still look quite tanned in that little frame. Well, you've made me look rather pale. <laughs> <laughs> look who's here! Wait, I've got to turn it down for copyright reasons. We we're just discussing our menu for this evening. For starters, what I did last week um, when David's sister came down was like a board of like charcuterie. But you don't like those meats, do you? Charcuterie. What's it called? Charcuterie? No, <laughs> I thought it was charcuterie. All right, well, whatever. <laughs> so I did like sun-dried tomatoes, olives. That's not my vibe, that. But Cheese. I don't mind like bread with like olive oil and balsamic, but give or take the rest of it, to be honest. All right, what should we have for starters then? Burrata. Yeah, it's also a bit of a dead cheese, but. With what though? Like basil, olive oil, salt and pepper, cherry tomatoes. It like it hasn't really got much flavour. No, it's it's not my favourite cheese. But you go on about it all the time because it is delicious. But it's not. But it's though. not my. It's, a bit it's of not a my. Cheese. It's, it's not like, my favourite. Parmesan's my favourite. The thing is with burrata, I guess it is what you put with it. But like mozzarella has a taste to it, yeah. So when you eat mozzarella raw, it has a taste to it. When you eat halloumi raw, it has a taste to it. Burrata is a little bit dead in taste. Yeah, I do like the texture of it though. Nice. Now nah, let's just not have. Um, I don't think it's essential. No, we'll just have a, a great pasta dish and ice cream. Why don't we make tiramisu? No. Okay. Bill's got vegetable goza, and there's katsu chicken pokey bowl. Go on, knock yourself out. That's a good one. No, I'm playing, ma'am. Oh. I got beetroot and feta salad, and then this bang bang chicken with satay dip. Let me just quickly do the fun bit. Loads of different tomatoes for our sauce tonight. Pan of raisin, pan of chocolate for the morning. We've got some M&S chocolate cornflake bites for later when I'm forcing Bill to watch Strictly. This pasta for the roast tomorrow. You this. Well, you bit me. No, no, he didn't. <laughs> <laughs> this M&S garlic bread that everyone keeps going mad about. Some orange juice. Billy says that this is the best, so we'll give it a go. That's probably the most fun stuff. Boys, what do you think of Billy? Isn't she so lovely? <laughs> Billy's gonna help me unbox my PR stuff that's come the last few days because you are the official unboxer. Unbo unboxer. Bad unboxer. Start with the easier stuff. Are you gonna open all of them? Yes. Oh, there's quite a lot. Oh. Let's sorry, if I'm unboxing it, I'll get to look at it first. <gasps> oh, okay. Nice. Wow. Oh my god, there's so much in here. Where should I put it? Here. Afterglow lip balm. Oh my god, you'd love that. Lip balm clean. Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. That's one of my favourites. Core and Shine Control Primer. 
Climax eyeshadow palette. Let's open. Oh, I wanted this one. Let me open it. You <laughs> said I could open it. No, yeah, I know. Oh yeah, look at that. Franco, is he being horrible? To that you? is so nice, isn't it? That is actually a very Billy palette. That is, yeah. Yeah, I like that burgundy. Shame it says Sasha Clary on the <laughs> post level. Packs in the shop. <gasps> I've got all of the good ones. Oh my lord. Hourglass. You know my absolute favorite highlighter is Hourglass highlighter. I've never been gifted Hourglass before. Well, or not. This because I knew I was coming. <laughs> yeah, literally. <laughs> oh, stunning. How nice is that? Are you joking? Why did you do it? Cry. Why don't you do a, a face on me? I'm not working today. Not working this weekend. Oh, yeah. Next time. <laughs> I'll do it when I come to Richmond. Okay. Next. Can you bring this in? Yeah. Oh, I know what this one's from, but I still want to unbox it because it's, um, you know, my friend Nad who does the wax melts? Exmouth melt. Yeah, yeah, but I ordered some new scents. They like go in that burner and it makes the house smell unbelievable. Could be a <laughs> The bit I love the most is just opening it and then inside I'm like, okay. Not bothered. What's oh, that? These are their new bars and I Chocolate ordered. Bars. No, you can't eat them. Oh. I ordered. Um, <laughs> look edible. These are miracle your nails last. I've got really strong nails. I think it's due to the amount of farms that I eat. Oh, is that proven facts? Yeah, it's in Billy's book of facts. <laughs> Hurry up! The vibrator, your old vibrator worries about. Whoa! Oh. Hey, there's some nice sweets in there. Plump, calm vibrator. I have never been sent a vibrator before. Well, Do you? Um, no. Have you ever had a vibrator? I've never had a vibrator. So one of my housemates at uni, um, she we'll let you borrow her. She, <laughs> <laughs> she, she was an Anne Summers rep. So we used to have Anne Summers parties. So yeah, yeah, in short. We I've literally have never used You have to charge what, it. What is this? I wonder what you do with them. <laughs> <laughs> this is for vulval pleasure. That's really hard word to say, vulval. I'm not entirely sure where my vulva is. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think now's the time for an anatomy lesson. Mm -hmm. I think you've got a lot more patience than I have, haven't you? You think? <laughs> <laughs> I want to do it now. Have you ever seen um, Sasha's followers? Surely you've all seen Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Obviously the Dream Wilder edition. <laughs> Who do you think you are? You're gonna say something nasty like the Violet Girl. Which Veruca Salt. <laughs> I want the whole world <laughs> and I want it now. <laughs> so who are you? Let me guess, Charlie. The winner of the competition. He <laughs> Willy Wonka, obviously. The ruler of the world. <laughs> No, oh, I'm an emblem. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy with you. Look at that. <laughs> no, it's Veruca. Is it's it Veruca? It's Veruca, yeah. <laughs> no, babe, I think I need some scissors. No, come on, we've got this far. I can't do it. <laughs> I'm not getting up. No, I said at the start, do you want anything extra? Not what was your yeah. favourite? Nars. Yeah. An hourglass. And the vibrator, probably. I think that you're more excited about mascara than you are by a vibrator. Well, yeah, considering I'm 29 and this is my first. 29. That's not my promise, sex that's fine. I have just started cooking. We are gonna roast, or I'm gonna roast, tomatoes, garlic, olive oil, Italian seasoning, salt, pepper, in the oven. Oh my God, look at that. Dig in. Actually aren't, can yeah, yeah, let me know what you think. Oh, very good. Oh, that's very good. Picante party. Is that a picante injury? No, it's a blue fan from the sh <laughs> shitty uh, plastic. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. Shut up. Every vlog actually has this in it. <laughs> I am going to sign off this vlog here. We've got our picantes, some ice cream. Um, yeah. And we're going to finish off Strictly. Sorry if this was chaotic. 
but it feels like it might have been. Um, thank, as always, thank you so much for watching. See you soon. Okay.